The in-fisherman love affair with big fish extends into the realm of panfish. Now where perch are concerned, some of the biggest come from prairie waters, where they often grow quickly on plentiful forage options, ranging from freshwater shrimp, insect larva, and small fish. Today, we're in a setting close to the heart of North America. East Dakota perch, prairie lake perch, scud lake perch, whatever you want to call them, just an awesome opportunity for, especially, well, all season long, but I love to do this on the ice. Get that spoon out of there a minute. We are started. Nice little slim fisher spoon. This thing isn't even a big perch for this uh, water right here, but look at the back on these guys. Just almost an inch and a half across, and this is only like a 11 and a half, 12 inch perch right here. They're gonna get bigger, and the sun is rising, and we've got a glorious day to go here. And you always wanna keep these uh, perch from freezing, so I'm gonna put them in the Yeti quick. Into the Yeti, we're gonna keep a few fish for sure. They are beautiful. 10 feet deep, big prairie bowl lake here. Typical big water, groundwater lake in South Dakota. Boy, it's a beautiful morning sun rising. And there's one. Got him. I can't get him turned. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. That is what you're after when you come to Northeast South Dakota for these perch. Look at that. What an incredible fish they are. They're just a handful. Just an unbelievable and so beautiful. Just a simple spoon, Slim Fisher, Johnson Slim Fisher. That is what you come to South Dakota for. And if I was gonna instruct you on just where to go, in the Webster area, you've got two classic lakes. You've got Wa Bay and Bitter. And then uh, we also often come down to the Watertown area and I'll fish Indian Springs. Um, and then uh, Dry Lake number two, which is actually where we're at today. And these are big lakes. We're not giving away any secrets. Um, these can stand some pressure. But you want to select a har harvest selectively, selectively too. But these are waters where you come and you, a 12 inch perch is going to weigh about a quarter pound more than they will in most other typical waters. And you've got a lot of 13 to 14 inch fish in these bodies of water. Just beautiful fish. So keeping it simple for the most part on these lakes, a lot of times you're searching, you don't get into a lot of big pods of fish. It's just a fish here, typically a fish there. So nice little spoon like this slim fisher. Some maggots on there, a little bit of gulp and you've got to bring them in before you can get them to bite. So a little flash helps most of the time. That one came in hard. These last two have been hungry when they came in. Here comes one. Come on. He's coming pretty good. He's gonna bite. Got him. Right like that. And they pull hard, look at this. They just pull like a tank going down half the time. Up and in, and there we are. Look at that. Are they not something? And they pull so hard. It's like a steam engine, a truck. And they are hooked like that. Now that one came in pretty quickly on it. Man, they're hooked good. They are chewing good. There. Pound and a half fish right there. That's a lot of flesh. And so you saw the whole process there. Fish came in hard. When they come in like that, usually they're going to bite when they get up to it. They're charging good. So we'll get down here, see if there's not another one in the area. There's one here. Come on, buddy. Came in hard. There, we got him. Pulling hard again. There. Nice. Nice, nice. Beautiful fish. Look at those dorsals stick up like that. So there's two fundamental moves for these fish that I've noticed on these scud lakes, these big bowl-shaped lakes like this. This is 10 feet of water. This whole lake is 10, 11 feet for the most part. And uh, typically you want to start up a little higher than you normally would in a lot of lakes. So two feet off the bottom, you're going to bring more fish in. And if the fish won't go when they first come in, when you're jigging, 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 and they come in hard, drop it to the bottom. And in these lakes with, uh, that have a lot of scuds and a lot of mice shrimp in particular, a lot of times they bite stuff right on the bottom. So right down to the bottom, tinkle it on the bottom, get a tight line going right on the bottom, and a lot of times they'll take it right off the bottom. So those are the two fundamental moves. Most of the time though, you're up two feet, lift, fall, lift, fall, bring fish in, and then if they're coming hard, usually they bite. As the day continues, we stay on the go, moving from hole to hole when action slows. That's the nature of fishing for big perch on big shallow bodies of water. Stay at it though, 
with a reasoned approach, success often shines Come here. through. Oh, nice, man. Look at that. I mean, these are just incredible fish. And that is why you want to travel to the Dakotas. There's just a few right there. Did you see that nice bunch we've got? So that gives you the idea. But look at here. This fish, uh, I actually measured this one. So let's this, this one is actually right at 13 and 13 inches. And this one I actually weighed at a pound, six ounces. And I think that is pretty close to this one. This one might be just a little bit bigger. This one might be 13 and a quarter, perhaps. Big fish of the day, perhaps. Uh, I'd have to weigh and actually see, but they're just incredible fish. Uh, just a really otherworldly experience to be able to come here. I'm not saying there's not other great places in the country that you can go perch fishing, but these uh, prairie perch here in the northeast corner of uh, South Dakota are just incredible fish.